we're going to make a primitive oil lamp out of a freshwater mussel shell, some olive oil, and a bit of a cotton, I don't know, strip that I've cut off of an old t-shirt. Now, to begin, you got to find a shell of decent and reasonable size to fill with your olive oil, or any sort of oil. You can use animal fat, you can use motor oil, which is a little more dangerous, but can be done. <laughs> and you can use wax, and use more like a candle. But we are trying to go for a more traditional oil lamp. Now to start, you gotta have some sort of container. It doesn't have to be a shell, you can make it out of clay, hollowed out piece of rock. You can even use some carved out pieces of wood. It just has to be something that can hold the olive oil that I have in this block bag and be somewhat fire resistant. Now, <clears throat> the first thing that we're gonna do here is we're going to use a method that was used to make primitive string out of fibers to make this cotton strip into more of a wick. And to begin, all we do is twist it until we get like a little twist into it. And then we can take the top side, twist it, and then grab with the back finger and twist it back. I'll do that a few times to show you how we do it. Now, this takes a little time, but it is worth it. You need some form of light, so it would be worth taking the time. As you can see, if we can focus in on that one, maybe. You can kind of see, it's not wanting to focus. You can kind of see that it's making more of like a rolled up piece of twine. It's not twine, it's cotton, but it looks like rolled twine. And all you're doing is doing this back and forth. I've done this a lot, so I can do it pretty fast. But that's all you are doing. Now, the tighter you do it, the better, because the more it'll want to stay together. And all it is doing is putting tension against itself. Friction, sorry. Keeping it from coming unraveled. You see, I can let go of it, and it will not come unraveled. Alright. Now, I will cut back, and we will start with the next step after I finish braiding this together. All right, now that you have twisted out a section of your cloth strip to be more like a rope, uh, it just needs to be big enough to be your wig, which this is a little bigger than it needs you to be, but it'll coil up in there and let it rest and catch on fire. <laughs> it'll burn down, you'll want a little extra. But I didn't twist it all the way down because I knew that I had gotten way more than I needed. So I'm gonna Pull out my scissors and my Swiss Army knife. And trim it down to size. Let's see right about there. Now this is our wick. Now we're gonna twist our wick up so that it only sticks out in one place right there. And now we're gonna get out our olive oil and add as much as we want to our shell. And that'll probably be a good amount right there. And you're gonna wanna soak the whole thing in the olive oil and stick out just a little bit on that one side to get lit. Now let's light up our wick. beginning to burn there we go we have now got our primitive oil lamp constructed now this will extend the burn time of just burning straight cotton and it will also use the uh, olive oil as the extender so pretty fascinating trick you can pick this up and carry it with you use it when you're walking around camp or when you're, say you build a dark shelter and you need to see back in there, you don't want to take a massive torch in with you. You just want to take something small in. This will be your trick. Now this is a small one compared to the size of shells you can use. 
you can see I could have made a huge one out of this. I didn't want to make something huge. I just wanted to use something small for the sake of the video. But say you're wanting to use something for long-term fire, an navigate a cave or something, you would want to get a much larger shell to carry more oil. <clears throat> so, pretty neat trick. Pretty neat trick. Very useful, too. I mean, you need some form of light in a survival situation or a preparedness situation. And batteries aren't always an option. And it's too hard to keep a big torch burning in a small area for a shelter or something. You need something small and convenient. And this right here is what you need. Now, how this thing works is that as it burns, it will suck up more of the oil up into the end of that wick and it will continue and burn up the oil that way. Now you see the wind's fighting us a little bit. We can move it here and there we go. Got a little bit of a better burn going. But yeah, pretty simple. Pretty quick, pretty fun.